Hey there everybody, my name's Waddles and welcome to a 1.13 decorating type of video. In this video I'm going to go over some building tips and decorating ideas for new things that are added in the update. This video is coming from Chickapoo, thanks for dropping the comment and suggesting this video. I thought this would be a pretty good idea to do seeing as the update is pretty close now. Now, I've done a few of these videos in the past, so I'm trying to not repeat ideas, but some of these ideas have definitely been in other videos that are more focused, such as a video on stripped wood or something like that. So I think I have about 10 ideas, and then go leave me an 11th one down in the comments below. So, idea number one for decorating or building in 1.13, once this update comes out. Now, this is a bit of a custom biome underwater here. What I'm doing is I'm using sea pickles, of course, a lot of kelp, and then obsidian in green blocks, almost making like a spill slash kelp blocks. I'm pretending the carpet blocks or the wool blocks, excuse me, are kind of like a solid block of kelp. Instead of using that black block of dried kelp, I'm using that to kind of create some kind of effect of, you know, like I said, a spill or maybe just blocks of kelp and everything. Now, you can take slime blocks and throw them under the water too, but the problem is, is you get this effect on the side, so I prefer to bury them in there. And then I'm using these magma blocks for just a little bit of extra detailing in here. This is going to be a big thing once the update comes out in terms of water decoration. If you use these bubble columns, meaning the magma block or the soul sand block for decorating, you're already off to a good start because the particle effect is really nice looking and it just adds something to whatever you're doing. Let's say we have just kind of like an empty sea over here in the darkness and we throw in some of these blocks. It's going to start to decorate this area a little bit. Even though we can barely see it over there, we do have some bubble effects going on. I mean, we can't even see the bubble effects, but it will be a thing once 1.13 comes out to decorate with these water streams a little bit. Now, it's up to you if you want to be pulled down or pushed up. Totally up to you. It's all the same effect and it just looks cool, especially when you have a lot more stuff going on and you get the bubbles in there now sea pickles aside from being the best weapon in the game sea pickles are an interesting block they're lighting so what i went and did over here is made a bit of a custom beach i took this beach that was already existing and just expanded it out then to get some cool lighting going on i put sea pickles everywhere i put these little holes with sea pickles in them so this is obviously pretty easy to do you just need a water bucket and uh, some sea pickles you just put it down wherever you want and you can play with lighting you can do all four and get the really bright one or you can do like the lower ones if you want whatever you're thinking but this is kind of a creative lighting idea for something along water so some kind of shoreline somewhere a beach maybe i think this could work out really nicely and then you can kind of expand it into the ocean a little bit just to get the light kind of spreading out and slowly like dissipating if you will instead of just ending at the shore then what i went ahead and did is i just took sand and kind of expanded the shoreline just a little bit kind of just trying to make it a little bit more interesting just to spruce up the world but sea pickles could be used like this pretty much anywhere and then you could do the classic little carpet trick and take some green carpet or something like that if you're in a field and throw it right over like that and it's just another way to do lighting now you will not fall through it you'll get that little noise instead i don't know if you can hear that but there's a little <laughs> a little noise but you won't fall through it so that could totally work instead of say like jack-o-lanterns or something see if we do it right over there there you go and there you go just like that so sea pickles could be used for lighting up whatever you want maybe making a cool custom beach moving back over into the light and onto the mainland over here we have coral dead coral in specific so i was thinking about throwing you know coral down in that first example but i mean it, it would definitely add to it but i was going for a green thing so coral definitely is an option for just decorating in general don't forget about that. You can put the blocks underwater and it spruces it up. But you can also use these dead coral blocks for a few different things. Right here, I was making a bit of a castle wall, kind of just alternating with patterns. If you were going to do this, I would suggest to stick to one or two, not like every other one is a different one. It was just kind of an example. Or you could make some kind of cool floor. So this is gray glazed terracotta and then dead brain coral, excuse me, I stalled out there. But you could use those two and create a pattern. See, I was seeing some kind of weird connecting shape right in these corners. It almost makes like a, 
I don't know, a butterfly looking thing? Not really, but kind of. There's a shape in there, right? So I was thinking play with the patterns a little bit, doing something cool. Or you could make a dead tree, but like, not like a dead tree with no leaves, like some kind of stone dead tree. This is with fire coral, which is the red coral there, uh, or it was the red coral, but it's just kind of cool. So to do these trees, in case you don't know, you just kind of go up and then you kind of just get creative here. The key to it is making it not too thick. So work with diagonals like I'm doing there. Everything doesn't have to touch and necessarily make sense because if you do it right and you step back from it, you'll get the idea that it's some kind of cool uh, dead thing <laughs> above the ground. A cool dead thing. Yeah, I mean, that sounds cool, right? So maybe you could go like, uh, I don't know, um, like that. And maybe we pull that off and then something going over that way you know and we start to get some kind of effect now you're gonna have to step back and take a look at it pull things out adjust things but it's just being creative with the direction there so to sum all of that up you could use dead coral as some kind of cool floor some kind of wall or maybe even dead things like a dead tree that's been turned into stone now my next design here is a bridge a small and simple little bridge i think i've gone over a design like this before in a previous video maybe it was a little different i'm not sure it's been a while now but what i'm doing here is using fence posts underwater because that works now and it looks really nice to me for a small bridge so what i was imagining here is i have this small little forest path just wandering over to a little lake and it's a small one so i wanted to do a small bridge so you just walk right across it like that nice and small nothing too fancy and it just works i'm just using slabs here and kind of slowly slanting up until i get to the middle i did two layers of trap doors here just to make it look a little more strong because one right there looks pretty thin pretty fragile so i did two just like that and then i like the effect here that we have with the trap doors almost like a little window going through this is something that i used to do with oak trap doors and now you have a lot more options because in case you didn't know you have a whole lot more trap doors in here one for every type of wood of course and then iron but iron's been a thing Next up over here, in terms of 1.13 decorating building and I guess custom biome making. Over here I was making a destroyed evil biome or something using these new stripped dark oak wood blocks. And then I think I used some bark blocks somewhere in here too. Um, yeah, yeah, dark oak. Wait, what? Okay, so the stripped dark oak wood is the stripped bark block, and then the stripped dark oak log is the stripped log. So I'm using those two blocks to make some dead trees. This time, not some stone trees, but some dead trees. Then I'm going in here with already existing blocks like black terracotta and brown terracotta, as well as soul sand and podzol, to create a custom biome. But really, the idea here is the new blocks, of course. So what I'm showing off here is that these stripped logs and uh, the stripped bark, whatever you want to call it, works really well for tree making in specific the bark because you are fully covered on every side you don't get this pattern on the top or the side uh so i really like to use this bark block for making these trees and that kind of stuff i think it's a really good use of them because again you don't see this texture which kind of ruins it sometimes you can hide it like that and it all blends together pretty nicely so i don't know it's up to you whatever you want to do but you could definitely make some dead trees with these things now bonus points if you want to go ahead and throw leaves on them i like birch leaves because they're pretty thin you could maybe make some clumps of leaves somewhere on these things like maybe we clump this branch here with some leaves like it's still alive a little bit like it's a dying tree it's not fully dead i don't know this is kind of up to you, and it's just kind of placing leaves randomly, stepping back and saying, eh, yeah, I like that, or uh, no, that looks really weird. So it's kind of all up to you here on this one, and if you want to go ahead and add on leaves, try not to make it too square. Something like that I think looks really nicely, or looks really good, excuse me, and then you can make some leaves hanging down maybe. I don't know. It's all up to your imagination and your personal taste. Now over here in this creeper's lab, we're using the new dried kelp block as a wall. Now in a previous video, I used this stuff as a floor because it looks pretty cool. It's got its own little pattern going on and I, I think it's nice. But if you use it on the wall, it doesn't have the cross uh, across the side. So it's just a line upwards and I think it makes a really nice wallpaper in here. Honestly, I like this better on the wall than I do on the floor because it has the texture going 
horizontal and then it has the lines going up and down just like that that makes it look like i said like a wallpaper then i went in here and just kind of threw some stuff for example pretending it's a house and then we have a little uh sea pickle uh container in the side maybe they're growing sea pickles it's a scientist or something who knows but i really like this block as a wall or a wallpaper i could see this really working well inside like maybe a hotel if you're building it and you want different walls maybe different wall styles something like that but i think this is really cool for a wall now i've been trying to stay away from ideas that i've done or ideas that are insanely obvious here i'm trying to give you new things but this has to be said of course you can use these new bark blocks as um logs and that kind of stuff so these are the fully covered ones is what i'm talking about i didn't realize that these are logs and these are just wood now i didn't know that was a thing but right here i'm just adding some roots so what i'm doing is i'm taking a tree and growing it big so what you do is you do this little cobblestone trick with an oak sapling then bone meal it it takes a little bit of bone meal sometimes but eventually it'll grow up like that and then hopefully you got the tree that you wanted this one's a little small so is that one not my favorite but it works and then uh, what i do is i just continue the stem all the way down to the ground just like that and then i kind of start adding in roots coming off of this thing however i feel like uh should happen and whatever makes sense really so it's kind of cool it's kind of fun you know it's all up to you and then i went and decorated around it i guess a creeper is joining too i, I mean it, it looks nice right that's a nice looking little area a screenshot for sure but i have decorated around it to make it look a little more normal because i've realized that if you just do this whole stem thing and then you walk away from it like let's say i left it like this or something that just looks weird so if you go in and add bushes and flowers and other plants around it, it makes it look a whole lot more normal and nice. Now you could also take stripped spruce wood in terms of oak wood and use the, that as roots too because it matches so well. And then you could even take slabs of spruce wood and stuff to make angles. But I don't really like to do that personally. But it's just an idea here for you to use maybe making some custom trees in a foresty road or something in your world. This is a quick one, but I thought this was really cool. What I'm doing here is I'm taking bark blocks, or you could do this with uh, stripped logs as well, and just varying which way they're facing. So, for example, on this row right here, we added another row. I took uh, stripped birch wood first, and then I went ahead and uh, went like this. So it was going up and down, if you will. Then I take uh, stripped oak wood logs and go the other way. So it kind of creates this little weaving thing or this like odd visual illusion. I'm getting like depth or something in there. I think it's just cool looking if you pick woods that are similar like uh, spruce and um, dark oak. That might work well too. Of course, if you try and use acacia, it's going to be a little different, but... I'm sure it'll work on a on a different uh, scale, if you will. But I just think it's really cool, and it makes this like weaving-looking thing. Now that's a pretty costly floor, though, so don't know if that's what you're gonna do. But it does look kind of cool, so it's an idea for you to use, maybe in creative mode. Now swinging around over here, we have a building tip, a wall building tip, two of them in one, kind of. First is the trapdoors. You could use these new trapdoors as your different block along the bottom. Let's say you usually use cobblestone down here along the bottom, and you're kind of tired of doing the same old, same old, like, a line of cobble like that. I mean, it looks cool, right? But, like, you want to switch it up. You could take trapdoors. In particular, I like these spruce ones. These are my favorite new trapdoors. And do something like that on the bottom instead. Then you have whatever you have going on up here and probably some extra depth as well. But the nice thing is that these trapdoors do add a tiny bit of depth to your build. It's going to work a whole lot better, though, if you have not all brown like I have. Now, the next tip here is the windows. If you look at this window and you look at this window, they're the same but different. The difference here, of course, is the log versus the wood. Over here, I'm using wood, and then right here is the log. So the log is the one with that texture, and the wood is the one without it at all. Now, there's no trick here. I'm just placing these blocks like that instead of placing them like this. The whole idea is that this stripped wood makes a better window. 
than this one does. Because of course you could turn this, right? So you don't get those shapes, but then you have this weird intersection here in a sudden turn. So I would advise you to take that and then you have a fully encased window just like that. So let's say we throw some panes on this thing to finish it all up. I think it just looks really, really sturdy and fully enclosed this time. Now it of course works with each variant here. Here is oak. Again, it just looks a lot better than having to see these little uh, log tips. So all I'm doing here is I'm taking any kind of stripped log and I'm placing it in the up and down way, if that makes sense. And then I'm kind of just making a window out of it. So it's a little tricky until you figure it out. And then it's not tricky at all. But all I'm doing there is making sure all of these are going the same direction here. And then we finish it off and then boom, there you go. You have a fully enclosed window here. Now, in case you're wondering, of course it works with the normal bark block as well. I just went all the way around, making sure it's going in the same direction everywhere, and it looks great. It looks really, really good, and I think that is going to be the way to do windows from now on instead of this old-fashioned way like that and just having a hole in your wall. It just looks so much better to me, way more polished and way more finished. Now, of course, as you can tell here, it works a little better with oak and spruce than it does with acacia, but even the acacia looks a whole lot better than having this whole little log tip showing there like that. But with all of that, I think that was just about all 10 of my tips. I think that was 10, maybe. I counted before and I think it was. So I hope you enjoyed those. I hope one of those was new to you. If you've seen my previous videos on this, maybe some of those were old. But of course, go drop me one more suggestion down below because of course, the Let's Play series is going to start up once 1.13 comes out and I need some building ideas. Do me a favor and drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you really enjoyed it and you haven't yet. My name is Waddles. I hope you go have a good day. Goodbye, everybody.